Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to do another tutorial on GTA 5. Last uh, GTA 5 um, <clears throat> tutorial I taught how to install some cars. Um, this time I'm going to teach you how to update your game. When GTA 5 has an update, you have to update quite a few things, at least two things. Um, well, three things. With script hook, you have to update script hook and rage plugin hook. Um, along with the actual game. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so my game is currently not updated at all. As you can see, it says Grand Theft Auto 5 update required. I had the Steam version, by the way. So um, it will not update until I tell it to update or launch the game. And so I'm going to go ahead and update the game now. Um, <clears throat> while that's going, I'm going to quickly show you uh, what we're going to be updating first uh... you first go here to your grand theft auto 5 folder and uh... there is your rage plugin hook and that's what we're going to be installing so we're going to go ahead and click on that there and start the download then over here is script hook you have the script hook um, do not download sdk that's for developers download the uh... script hook download whatever on the script hook um, website. So you download that. They updated it. As you can see, it was released April 9th, 2017. It is April 15th now, and I'm recording this video. Um, I actually was not able to update my game, so that's why I'm so late updating the game. And these over here are uh, <coughs> some extras we'll throw in here. These are Alba 125's uh, modifications, four of them. Um, that I'll be updating and if you do not actually use these mods uh, during your patrol you need to because these are some very very um, nice mods um, and I really really like them and uh, I will show you how to install uh, at least one of these one of these mods they're all very very similar to install um, so I'll do that so let's go and check out our steam it looks like uh, <clears throat> it has about 17 seconds left uh, to download, so we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to. Finish. All right, so now my GTA game is done downloading and installing and everything, and is all updated and ready to play. But first, we have to uh, update on um, these mods. So let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> open up our downloads folder, where you down or wherever you downloaded the uh <clears throat> downloaded your script hook and rage hook folders. Um, here are mine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move them onto my desktop right here. And you're no longer going to need these two tabs. You've already ins you've already uh, downloaded the new um, the new folders or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and go into Grand Theft Auto into the Grand Theft Auto folder, of course. First thing we're going to install is the Rage Hook plugin and I'm going to go ahead and move this over to this screen here's all the stuff that you'll be installing so I don't really extract mine you can extract yours I don't see the point of it but uh, select everything but plugins because if you uh, reinstall your plugins it's gonna copy over uh, everything you installed all your mods and everything at least I think that's how it works I don't know I haven't tried it because I don't trust it but uh, yeah you really don't even have to update that anyway so um, so you're just going to click all that, and the way I did that was I just clicked on that, press control, and then I clicked, oh, hold on, control shift, or is it just shift? Yeah, okay, shift, and you click that, and then you press control and click licenses. That's how I selected all those, um, and not plugins. And then you're just going to drag it over into your... Uh, into the margin of your Grand Theft Auto folder and it'll say this destination has 22 files it might say like 24 or 23 something like that um, just click replace so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna replace all that and all of its replaced so that's good we don't need that anymore I have mine all my plugins and everything in a mods folder uh, LSPD fire stuff so that's where I put my stuff usually but uh, yeah okay Cool, and then here is the script hook. This is the next thing that you have to update. And <clears throat> now that that's uh, updated, we go to this. 
So this, of course, is the same way. You just take all this and you just drag it straight in there and it says the station has three files with the same names. Yes, you replace those and there you go, it's updated. Everything's updated and ready to go and this EXE is going to be pretty much the same. I created a shortcut on my desktop so that uh, I don't have to go into my uh, GTA folder to launch LSPDFR. So we're going to go ahead and click run as administrator and it's going to come up with all this when you run it when you first run it it's going to make sure you have everything installed and all of that and there it is <clears throat> uh, please read this disclaimer carefully we could be asking for your firstborn of course uh... you read all that stuff uh... it's just saying how you know you're not reliable for any kind of crap any damages to the game or whatever um... so you just click accept read that make sure you read that um, pretty important actually so uh, yeah um, running as administrator this is this is gonna come off if you run as administrator I always run as administrator because it uses or not uses but it creates less problems in the game okay so you're just gonna go and click OK then it's gonna check your compatibility so that means that if it's gonna check if your game is compatible with this rage hook plugin and it's going to do this it's gonna make all those check marks and then it will launch that part up oh, it says back up do you want to back up I usually back it up back it up um, my game versions um, this is easy way so if GTA updates or whatever you can s just revert your game back to the uh, previous GTA version and so that when you wait because you have to wait until the um, developers of Rage Hook and Script Hook update their um, programs, so you want to back it up. You want to back it up, or if something happens to your game, um, then you can have a backup. So I usually do that, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You could also just copy the whole Grand Theft Auto folder, um, which I have that for a a clean version of Grand Theft Auto. I have that as well, so I have two Grand Theft Auto folders, or three, because I also have um, five Reborn. But uh, it's going to create a backup of your game, like so, if you click right, yes. So it looks like uh, my backup folder is done, being created. So then you'll be brought to the settings menu, of course, when you first start. And I like to always put load all plugins on start so that I don't have to do anything in the um, F4 uh, command menu. And this only comes up when you first launch a brand new version of Rage. And uh, once you're done, you click Save and Launch. And it'll tell you how you can access all the settings. And there you go. It's going to launch the game. And yeah, all right, as you can clearly see, I'm in LSPDFR. It says LSPDFR response as, uh, is now on duty. Everything's loaded. Except for these album 125 plugins, I have not updated it yet. So, the assorted callouts, LSPDFR Plus, Police Smart Radio, Traffic Police here, all that kind of crap. I'll show you that next, but as you can clearly see, here it is. LSPDFR is here. Everything is good to go. And all that stuff, it's just telling me that I need to update it. But once we update the mods, it'll be good to go, and I don't have to have those errors. If you don't have any Albo plugins, you don't have to worry about the next part. part uh, your game is now updated. And it's uh, ready to play. As you can see, everything works beautifully. And you're back in LSPDFR and ready to patrol. Um, so, yeah, there it is. That's how you update Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, LSPDFR. So when Grand Theft Auto updates, um, <clears throat> that's how you update your LSPDFR game. So, yeah, there you go. hope that was helpful. And uh, let's go ahead and get to updating those uh, plugins by Alba1125. Ooh, Trevor looks so weird. Alright, one thing I forgot to mention was that if your game does start crashing, it might be because of this. You have to uh, use Open 4, yeah, and it says you have an outdated version of update RPF in your mods folder. You need to copy a new version of update RPF into your mods folder, otherwise your game might crash. I had this problem before, my game was crashing, and I went and open 4 and saw this arrow here, error here, and I just clicked it, and clicked yes, and everything was updated, and it no longer crashed. Um, 
so yeah if you do have that problem you just do that and everything is good to go and you have all your all your cars and everything is in an updated spot everything's good to go look at that Camaro I really love that Camaro I put some blue lights on it um, pretty pretty nice um, so yeah uh, all you gotta do is just click on that and uh, your game won't crash anymore and uh, you'll be good to go uh, also if your game still crashes after you do that you might want to delete one of your um, save game saves uh, when your game slots GTA slots because it could be causing a crash um, usually that does happen so uh, sometimes during an update I've never had that problem but I know a lot of people have complained about it um, okay let's go ahead and get to this um, this updating now these are really simple uh, it's just updating the mod but uh, if you don't know how to update a mod okay, let's go to a more easier one okay looks like nothing's easier about this um, let's go to here and you'll see the most recent the most recent one I think is this one isn't it yeah rage 51 whatever um, <clears throat> so you download the latest version um, of the mod and this goes for any mod that you need to uh, reinstall and fix so you just download you just download it and it's pretty much the same thing for all the mods you just update the mod you replace all the new stuff um, so that's all you have to do so while that's downloading um, let's see uh, what, what can I do uh, <laughs> that's still downloading and uh, I'm not going to show you any of the other ones because they're all pretty much the same thing you do the same stuff um, to install it so yeah um, all right, so once that's done downloading, you open up where you downloaded it. You open up the file. You go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, and you open up the folder. You go to Grand Theft Auto. Of course, we're in Grand Theft Auto. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take this, and you want to drag these two in here, and, of course, uh, replace the two files. You only have to do this once, so uh, you don't have to do it again for the other um, Alba 1125 mods. Um, once this is updated, this is updated until he updates it again. So, um, then you want to go to plugins, plugins, L LSPDFR, LSPDFR, take these two, drag it in there, replace it, and that's updated just like so. Then you want to go to LSPDFR, LSPDFR, police scanner, police scanner, and then you take this folder and drag it in there and it'll replace it just like so and there you go that's how you update um, one of Alba 1125's modifications um, so yeah um, hope that helped and I uh, hope you guys uh, like this video I hope it I hope it helped you guys um, I know I had some problems trying to uh, update it my first time I updated uh, LS pretty far after a GTA update, I had to reinstall the whole game because I screwed something up so much, and I just know it's it was a little complicated for for me because I didn't know you had to update script hook. Uh, I forgot to update script hook, and it was crashing my game. And come to find out, that's all I had to do. So if you were confused on how to update it, that's how you update it. And hope you enjoy this video. Check out my LSPDFR videos. I upload every uh, Monday and Friday LSPDFR videos. And sometimes Wednesdays. That is the uh, schedule as of 4-15-2017. So thanks everybody. Have a nice day. And uh, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whichever time you are watching this video. Goodbye.